Guess what? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, it snowed. Hey, we're racing today. Going fast. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the first two clips until we get to racing. It smells like winter. So the first thing that I did this morning, or it wasn't morning, I woke up at 2 p.m. today. And that's because I heard somebody chopping down trees with chainsaws. Otherwise, I wouldn't have woken up. You might have noticed my um, my voice is a little stuffy because finally I figured out that I'm getting sick and it's been a whole week that I felt bad and tired and I didn't know what was going on and now it's today I just got congested and like I can feel that it's a sickness anyways it's winter's coming and it's good I'm excited to go skiing, I'm excited for colder weather, I'm excited to... Salt Lake is so pretty with snow. Everything is just like a winter wonderland. And then the second clip is when um, I have the anthem playing. That's really big. I don't know if any anybody else that is here as an international notices, they probably don't care, they just stand up and look at the flag because that's what everybody else does but for me it's become such a big thing and such an impactful thing too if i think about it it symbolizes every meet that i've been to because every meet starts with the anthem it symbolizes all the memories that i've built in the past five years because all my life here was revolved around swimming and around swim meets and competition and stuff like that so it's really i cannot overlook that you know every time i hear the anthem every time i look at the flag it's all almost more meaningful to me than my national anthem to be honest because right the birds are going crazy and i really don't like that i hope you don't hear it anyways <clears throat> it's really meaningful and i want cherish every moment that I have and I want to make sure I'm aware of what is happening so tonight for example I was looking at the flag I was like wow it's really been five seasons that I've been in US this is the sixth one so I'm starting my sixth season as a swimmer in US I'm a coach for this club and I'm also a swimmer and look how far I've come look where I am Look where I come from and this is how far I've come. So yeah, okay, let's go on. Funny dude. Boys, this is gonna be a close one. And I want you to take away it's gonna smoke it. Jesus Christ. Bro, he's he would have laughed him. That's the videographer for tonight. He's got all my races. Okay, so pretty short today. I didn't have a lot of time because I woke up at two. But I did good today. I only had two races, the 50 fly and the 50 back. Those went well. And 50 back is my main event. But tomorrow I'll be swimming 50 free, 100 free, and 100 am, which are not my best events, but I still want to do well. 
So that should be fun. And oh yeah, before I forget, another good story. So it happened to me yesterday because again, I look for signs and I look for things that happened to me to see what decisions I've been making and if they are right or not in the right direction. That's what I mean. So yesterday I was teaching this private. It was just an eight year old kid, right? And they started having privates with me, I'd say three weeks ago. And the head coach was like, oh yeah, let me know when they can do this and that so I can add them to the team. Because they were just too bad to be even in our eight and under group. So in a, even if our, in, a, in our uh, youngest group, we have some standards, right? And then yesterday I was like, well, he kind of looks good. Like, let's see, Tom was just there coaching. And I was like, okay, like just take a look, see what you think about him. And at the end of practice, he's like, yeah, he's really ready. And I, that to me felt so good. Like I was able to get him there, you know? I was able to teach him that. I, I, made, I made that change in his life, which is really impactful to me. And I'm really happy and I feel accomplished, right? Because that means I'm doing my job well and that kid is gonna have a better, I don't know, experience now because he's gonna join the team, right? But that's my little background story on coaching because I, I was really unsure of what to do after college, you know? You finish and you're like, okay, this is it. Some people have it figured out, but I could never. I don't know why. I, I don't, it, it never occurred to me, right? But this is going well and I'm happy. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow with another day of racing. But until my next video, Keep playing the game.